Hello, this is John from tcmathacademy.com. And in this uh, particular video, we're going to be talking about fractions. So everybody loves fractions. And here is our problem. It says the sum of two fractions is 10. And what we want to do is find some solutions. We want to find uh, pairs of fractions such that we add, when we add those fractions up, we get to 10. But here's the deal. There's actually an infinite amount of uh, answers that can work. So just find some um, uh, fractions, if you can, that add up to 10. Now, not two numbers. We want to um, have two fractions. So if you think you can figure this problem out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you a couple fractions here in a uh, second that would satisfy the solution to this problem. Also, if you need uh, math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, check out my math help program. Again, you can find it at tcmathacademy.com. The link will be in the description below. And if this particular video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go to take a look at two fractions. Again, uh, you know, there's infinite amount of um, fractions that could work, but these two fractions right here add up to 10. So how do we, uh, you know, know that? Okay, in other words, how could we confirm that? Well, I have 15 over 2 and 5 halves. Well, if I wanted to add these two fractions, how do we add fractions? Well, basically, the idea is we have to have the same denominator. So if the denominators are the same, we're simply just going to write that denominator right there. So that would be 2 in this case. And then this uh, particular problem, when we're adding fractions or subtracting fractions, you just go ahead and perform that respective operation in the numerator. So all we need to do is add the numerators and put it over the same denominator. So this would be 15 plus 5, and 15 plus 5 is 20, and 20 over 2 is 10. So that is the uh, kind of main idea of this problem. Basically, we're just kind of uh, using our fraction brain just to kind of manip manipulate some fractions. And this is just a good exercise, again, just to brush off some basic concepts about fractions and how to kind of construct fractions to get numbers and values that you want. So um, anyways, if you were able to find two fractions and you kind of confirmed it by adding them up in this manner, and you got 10, well, let's go ahead and give yourself a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%. And a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you solved a nice little fraction problem today. So let's go ahead and get into this problem. Again, uh, really, the main idea here is just to kind of explore, you know, what we uh, may or may not know about fractions. But I thought it was important to um, quickly review the types of fractions because I didn't specify what type of fractions. Okay, so you could use mixed number fractions, improper fractions, and proper fractions. Uh, so here's a proper fraction, here's an improper fraction, and here's a mixed number fraction. So these are definitions that you need to know. A proper fraction is where the numerator, that top number, is smaller than the denominator, something like two-thirds. Now, an improper fraction is the reverse, where the numerator is larger than the denominator, something like five-halves. This would be classified as an improper fraction. And you can convert or write all improper fractions as mixed numbers. So a mixed number fraction would be something like three and one-half. And mixed number fractions, you can write as an improper fraction. So how do we do that? In this case, it would just be three times, uh, excuse me, two times three is six. Six plus one is seven. So this would be seven halves. So three and one half, specifically, uh, that mixed number fraction written as an improper fraction is seven halves. So real basic kind of uh, fraction uh, terminology that hopefully you know. So in this particular problem, Again, I didn't specify whether to use a proper, improper, or mixed number fraction. So, you know, if you came up with two mixed numbers that work, that's perfectly fine as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of take this a step further. So we're looking for two fractions. So I just kind of showed you an example of how to kind of, um, or at least my example. But really, if you were kind of starting this problem off in the beginning, 
we have a numerator and a denominator. We, want, we need to add that to another numerator and denominator. And the final answer needs to get uh, needs to be 10, right? So this is the sum of two fractions where the answer is 10. So what we want to do is make our life easy, okay, and um, have the same denominator. So really what we just need to do is come up with uh, two numerators such that when we add them up and we divide by that denominator, we're going to get 10. So for example, how could we get 10 from uh, a numerator and denominator? Well, you could be thinking like uh, 20 uh, over 2, right? So 20 divided by 2 is 10. So really what we want to do is split this up into two different fractions, right? So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So we want to get a, a 20 when we add up the two numerators. We want to have our denominator as 2, okay? So here uh, I would have 2 here, 2 here, and then what combination of numbers can we have such that when we add them up, we get uh, 20 in the numerator. There's all sorts of combinations, right? 15 and 5 is 20. That's 20 over 2. But we could also have 19 and 1, right? 19 halves, or I'm sorry, 19 over 2 plus 1 half is what? Well, that's going to give me 20 halves. You could have um, uh, 10, uh, 10 over 2 and 10 over 2, which, of course, um, this is a 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. But... Anytime you want to write a number as a fraction, what you can do, and let me just show you here, for example, if I wanted to write 5 or think of 5 as a fraction, just put it over 1. So 5 uh, over 1 is a fraction. And then if I just multiply this by 2 and this by 2, I still have a fraction. This is 10 over 2. Okay, so again, uh, the whole idea uh, behind this problem is just to kind of, you know, use our concepts um, our understanding of fractions and fraction equivalents and how to manipulate fractions to get things that you want. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another example. But let's finish up here. So here, 15 and 5 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So those, of course, would be two fractions that add up to 10. All right, so again, we could use another denominator. So let's just think about um, these two numbers, this fraction here, 50 over 5, that is also 10. So we could use the same strategy here. So if we keep 5 as our denominator, we just need to find two pairs of numbers in the numerator that uh, add up to 50. So 40 and 10 will give me 50. So 50 over 5 would be 10. So this is, you know, again, we're talking about an infinite amount of different type of uh, fractions that could get us there. So 40 over 5 plus 10 over 5. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, isn't just this the number uh, 8 and this is just the number 2? Yes, it is. But again, you can express these numbers as fractions, all right? And sometimes you need to do that. So anyways, again, this particular video had no uh, real objective other than to get you to be thinking about fractions, right? Now, a lot of you are like, oh, I know everything about fractions. I know how to add fractions, subtract, multiply, divide, reduce fractions, find the LCD, LCM. That's good. But sometimes you need to kind of think outside of the box with fraction problems as well, okay? And write fractions in terms of another number or um, other fractions, okay? And then uh, there's other things like converting a decimal to a fraction or a fraction to a decimal. So this is a big topic, and I can tell you right now, if you don't understand fractions, you're going to have a tough time in algebra. So you absolutely must uh, master fractions. Now, if you need additional, additional help with fractions, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel about fractions. Also, I teach this thoroughly in one or two of my courses, my Math Foundation course or my Pre-Algebra course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.